Thanks for taking the time to watch this recording. Over the next few minutes, I'll explain why becoming a stroke and turn USA swimming official might be of interest to you and the steps involved in getting there. So, why become a stroke and turn official? Chances are that you're already attending your kids' swim meets. So rather than spending time stuck in the crowd, come join us on the swim deck and become an active participant in the swim meet. I think the t-shirt I saw at the last state meet said it all. If I have but one day to live, please take me to a swim meet because they last forever. By learning the rules of the swim strokes, you'll be taking an active interest in the sport. Over the last few years, I've had numerous kids and parents asking me for clarification or interpretation of swimming rules and regulations. The CUDA swim team has set an ambitious goal of building a team of USA swim officials. Help us reach that goal. By becoming an active USA swimming official, you'll no longer need to maintain service hours or fundraising contributions. As a swim official, you'll help educate the swimmers. Personally, I see ourselves as teachers rather than officials. If I can take the time to explain to a swimmer the reasons why they disqualify themselves and educate them in the process, I'm furthering their swimming education. Oh, and as a swim official, you'll get well looked after. The hosting team at a swim meet will ensure you're well fed and nourished. So what are the steps in becoming an official? The first part of the process involves attending a stroke and turn clinic. As a CUDA team, we'll host several of these throughout the year. By the end of the clinic, you'll get a sense of whether it's something you want to pursue or not. Oh, and we'll provide food and drinks as an appreciation of your attendance. With your logbook in hand, you'll attend swim meets and accompany qualified officials on the deck. This gives you the necessary hands-on exposure to the life of an official. There will be a couple of registration forms you'll need to fill out, as well as a few online processes like background check, athletic protection, and multiple choice tests. Any financial commitments you need to make along the way will be refunded by the CUDA team. The CUDA swim team are quite unique in this regard. While it may seem like an involved process, as your CUDA official coordinator, I'll be there to assist you as needed. If you've made it this far through the video, chances are you're somewhat intrigued by the possibility of becoming an official. In terms of next steps, feel free to contact me, Richard Wilson, at richnwilson at gmail.com for more details or with questions you may have. I can also let you know of any impending clinics. Our monthly CUDA newsletter also has an official's corner section with informative information as well as dates for the clinics. I'd also recommend you reach out to other CUDA officials to get a sense of what's involved from their perspective. If you're not aware of any officials, reach out to me and I'll put you in contact with a few. Thank you for taking the time to watch this recording.